Hello, my little dump trucks. It is Saturday here on Warren El Burrito, and you know what that means? It's time for the Babble Box. Yay. Hello, sugar plums. It's that time again. I'm your host, Warren El Burrito, and welcome to the Babble Box. This week, we have so much to cover. First of all, Khloe Kardashian, slash Odom, maybe? We don't know anymore. Due to the fact that, according to her Twitter, she's just Khloe. Now, I think that she should actually change her Twitter name to just Khloe. I think that would be funny. Um, she's still at Khloe Kardashian, but she has dropped in the name part, Kardashian and Odom. So I think that this is, again, just signs of the time. And although I really do appreciate that Lamar stood up for her, I think that it's a little too late. Sorry, Lamar. You broke yourself. Now, the next story that I have to cover is Ms. Miley Cyrus. Now, as you know, I am a fan of Ms. Miley. But some of the things she says these days are just cray to the cray cray. And I just read this article on Us Weekly, and in it, she says some pretty crazy things. In fact, my favorite, let me go ahead and uh, just read this to you because, well, I just think that this needs to be quoted in my video. She says, One time, I smoked a joint with peyote in it, and I saw a wolf howling at the moon. She goes on to say, Hollywood is a coke town, but weed is so much better. And Molly, too. Those are happy drugs. Social drugs. They make you want to be with friends. You're out in the open. You're not in a bathroom. And so, don't be a fool. Don't do coke, because Miley's not doing coke. But, you know, just, I guess, smoke a joint with peyote in it, and maybe you'll see a coyote howling at a moon. But... If that's not your thing, you can also just gamble because there is a slot machine called Coyote Moon and I think that it's quite fun. And that's my drug of choice. This week I was quite excited as well because both Modern Family and Glee returned to my heart. As you know or may not know, I love both of these shows. And I just was so happy that they were back and Mitch and Cam and Kurt and Blaine, they're all engaged and their proposals were both beautiful and Glee is doing the Beatles for two weeks and that makes me so happy because obvi, I love the Beatles. Um, and then, you know, with Glee, it's just like, those are the two happy episodes and then I'm gonna need a box of Kleenex. So I'm very happy that Glee is back Obviously, my heart is a little torn about it, but we will all move on together. I am your support. You are my support, and I appreciate that. I love you guys so much for that. And finally, let me tell you, sometimes people on Facebook post some really weird things, myself included, but yesterday, or was it today? I don't know. But someone posted a video of this girl pole dancing and it was just outrageous. Like I've never seen a pole dancer like this before. And obviously the girl is fit and in shape, but I was like shocked at the things she was doing. It was impressive. But I also think that whoever posted it is a little bit of a pervert. But that's not for me to say, that's for you to say. So you can leave. I don't know why I was like, sorry about that. So that's the video this week. It's very short. I am getting ready to go in. It's blustery and rainy out. And well, my job calls for me to work in that kind of weather. So I will leave you with these parting words, which is, I'm just me and Miley. And that's all I have to say for you this week. I love you so much. Keep in touch. And don't forget to use the hashtag, the babble box if you want to chat with me on Facebook or Twitter. And sorry about these weird facial expressions. See you next week. Bye, babies.